Year after year, social media ranks as one of the top sources to generate high quality leads. And if you're not using it, you could be missing out on tens of thousands of dollars. In this video, I'm going to share with you the number one mistake that stops you from staying consistent with social media. And then I'm going to share my top three free AI tools to help make content creation effortless. And because I know your time is super valuable, timestamps are down below. So let's get right into the number one mistake. Trying to do it all by yourself. See, being a business owner, you're probably already wearing multiple hats at once. Now, running a social media page or a channel or a brand, whatever you may call it, is its own job. Like, There's a reason why the average starting salary for a social media manager is 67000 a year. Running a social media takes a lot of work, takes a lot of research, a lot of time. You have to stay up to date with a lot of things. And it can be very time consuming, especially if you're someone that identifies as not tech savvy, as that identifies as someone that struggles with technology. A lot of times social media gets looked at as a chore or like as a luxury, like you would do it if you had the time, you would do it if you had more bandwidth. And one of the big things about business is we have two jobs, right? We have to sell something, either a product or service. And then the second thing is to let everyone know what we're selling. Those are the main two jobs, right? And so if you're not letting people know what you're selling, well, it's going to be hard to find clients. And one of the best way to let people know is with social media. It's free to use and allows you to get in front of the most amount of people in a short amount of time. And once you get good at it, you can even get paid to make content. So it's like, it's a win, win, win. And over the past year or so, a ton of tools have come out to help you become more efficient, become more productive so that you can start creating content, even if you are on your own and way less time than what we used to have to put in. Here are the top three free AI tools that can help you out. Starting off with my, one of my personal favorites, Riverside. Now, Riverside is my number one tool that I'm currently using right now. It started off as a platform for podcasters to do their podcast interviews. And since then, it evolved into so much more. I've been using Riverside for almost a, almost a year and a half now, personally. And it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Now, pretty much what Riverside is, it's a recording studio for like podcasters and content creators of all sorts. And there's a ton of features that it has, but here are some of the reasons why I personally love it. First, when you're doing podcast interviews, it allows you to record to locally to each person's computer and then from the computer to the cloud. So meaning, even if your connection gets shaky, because it's recording on your computer and then from the computer to the cloud, your files are always being recorded in the highest quality. Your video and audio are always gonna be the highest quality possible because internet is not really a factor. Where if you record on something like Zoom, if your internet is shaky, you're gonna lose connection with the other person and then you're going to have awkward points in your video where the audio or the video is distorted or blurry. And sometimes in the video or the audio stops matching up and it gets a, if you don't have an editor, it can be super complicated to fix. But with Riverside, you don't have to worry about that because it records locally to the person's computer and then from the computer to the cloud, as I mentioned, which is also great because let's say you do have an editor. Well, because you're recording in the highest quality possible, when they get to edit it, it makes their life easier. And also when you're recording clips from the content, it's easier to put into vertical format. Sometimes when you take a long form horizontal video and turn it into a vertical video, you have to zoom in a lot. And the more you zoom, sometimes it becomes like blurry or pixelated. But when you're recording in the highest quality, that happens a little less. Also, you can live stream on Riverside to multiple platforms simultaneously. Now, I know there are a couple other platforms that do the same thing, but I said Riverside is the one that I use personally. Now, live streaming is great for people who are in industries where there's a lot of changes. For example, if you're a real estate agent, the market is always changing, especially with all the stuff going on currently with the NAR settlement. Also, the market changes locally a lot. So like one town may be different than another town, may be different than another county, may be different than the rest of the state, right? And which is totally different than other parts of the country. And so something like real estate live streaming is great because you can keep people up to date with the latest and best information so that they can make informed decisions. Right? Also, too, with live streaming. It takes out one of the most expensive parts and most time consuming parts of content creation, which is the editing process. If you don't know how to edit videos, it could take you hours to edit a, you know, a couple minute video just because you don't know what you're doing. Or if you have the money for an editor, a good editor, if you outsource overseas, will probably cost you a few hundred bucks a month, depending on how much content you're making. If you outsource to someone locally or in person, it's probably going to be closer to like a thousand bucks or something, depending on how much content you're making, right? Of course. In per, you know, people locally charge a lot more than people overseas. Money is different, but editing is can be very expensive depending on who you're hiring, who you're working with. It also can be, as I said, super time consuming. So when you're live streaming, you don't even have to worry about editing because you're live. And it's also good because with everyone making these highly produced videos with all the B-roll, all the jumping cuts and all the captions and all that stuff, sometimes having a break from that could be refreshing to the viewers. So let's say your audience is already getting bombarded with all these highly produced videos, having something 
where it's live and raw, it's a nice, like almost a pattern interrupt from all the other videos. So it can be easier to stand out. And when you're live streaming, you get to talk more casually. When you're on video, it's usually a lot more scripted, a lot more on point, which is good because you're more concise. You can get your message across in less words, but also you usually talk in a way that's not your natural, you know, style of conversation. You're a little bit more formal, a little bit more put together. When you're live streaming, you can be a little bit more loose. You can be a little more casual and get to show your personality a bit more. And the third reason why I love Riverside is because it makes working with an editor so much easier. So what I used to do is when I would record my video or my podcast in Riverside, I would take the link and I would share it to my editor. That way they can download it on their end and then edit it and then send it back to me, making the process so much easier. Because if I have to download it on my computer and then upload it to send the file over, that could take so much time depending on how big the file is. Once you're getting over a, co a couple gigabytes, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is, it could take a while to upload and download and send and all that stuff. So that can be very time consuming. But what I do now is my editor has access to my Riverside account. So I'll record a video and then he'll go in there and then he can upload automatically from Riverside into Adobe Premiere Pro to start editing. And that makes the process so much e easier, so much more streamlined. And so all I need to do is just title my video. For example, I title this video and then I'll tell him, hey, for this week, we're going to edit this video. He'll log into the Riverside on his end upload it directly into Adobe Premiere Pro, and then just start the editing process from there, cutting out so much time. That way we don't have to download and upload and send and all this extra stuff. We can just be super, super efficient with everything. Now, the second tool, which shouldn't really come out of surprise to anyone, is ChatGPT. Uh, you can use ChatGPT for so many different things, but one of the best ways to use it is for social media, right? And I know a lot of people still don't know how to use ChatGPT properly, and I'm not gonna cover that in today's video, but I actually already created a full walkthrough. If you never used ChatGPT before, after this video, make sure to go check it out. I walked through step by step how to create your free account and how to set up your ChatGPT to get the most effective results. But um, as I said, ChatGPT is great for social media. One of the ways that you can go do it is if you have the ChatGPT app on your phone, all you need to do is there's a button on the phone that looks like a little headphone icon. If you click on the headphone icon, you can begin talking to ChatGPT as if you were talking to Siri or as if you were talking to an Alexa. And so you can now have a conversation with ChatGPT and it'll talk back to you in real time. And so one of the ways you could use it is you can start up the conversation by saying something like, hey, ChatGPT, I want you to act as my social media manager. I want you to help me come up with some creative and unique video ideas to help me get more clients from social media. Before we start, I want you to ask a few questions about my business, what I do, who I help, and the style of content I'm interested in creating. Do you understand? If so, let's start this conversation. And then from there, ChatGPT will begin you know, questioning you and interviewing you to get a little bit of idea as to what you're trying to do. And then from there, you can start going back and forth and almost brainstorming or masterminding with ChatGPT to come up with more ideas. I did this to create one of my free ChatGPT courses I have. Um, I literally... One day I was pretty bored and I got this idea. So I'm literally laying in the bed behind me and I opened up ChatGPT on my phone and I just went back and forth for like an hour and it helped me come up with a whole curriculum for lesson plans and then helped me structure out the lesson plans, helped me come up with an email sequence to go alongside with it to get people to stay committed to the plan. And so all that started from a little simple phone conversation with ChatGPT. So if you never used it before, download it on your phone, hit that headphone icon, and from there, you can start talking to ChatGPT. And the best part about it is like, there's going to be some ideas that suck. There's going to be some ideas that are okay. And you may even find some like really, really good ideas. But like the best part about it is by you going back and forth, it's going to help you start thinking of ideas in ways that you probably haven't thought of before. And then you could take one of those ideas and you could spin off it. You can build off of it, or it might spark a brand new idea that you never thought of before in your own head. So talking back and forth with someone just gets the creative juices flowing a lot more easily than trying to come up with something on your own. And another thing that you could do with ChatGPT that I taught before, and I actually, let me know if you want me to create a video on it. So what I did was back in a workshop I did a year ago, I created a year long content calendar using ChatGPT and it gave me the dates to post. It gave me the topic ideas. It gave me the type of content to post for that day, the captions, and so much more. And all I had to do was pretty much just plug and play with a prompt. So if you want me to make a video on how to create a content calendar with ChatGPT, let me know, comment down below, and I'll make a full walkthrough on how to do that. I've already done it in the past, so it will be no issue for me doing it again. Um, but that's another way you can use ChatGPT, right, to help you come up with content calendars. So instead of you having to worry, figure out, you know, what to post each day, you can have a plan to just follow, and there, then you can plug and play from there. And the third tool is Video AI. Now, this tool I found out about a little over a year ago 
They actually hosted a in-person networking event in New York City, and I lived about an hour away. So I actually got to meet the team that you know founded and created Video AI, and meet a bunch of other cool creators. One of which I known him when he was around 2,000 followers, and watched him pretty much in real time go from 2,000 followers to over 180,000 followers. Shout out to my guy Donald. But uh, Video AI is a super dope um, tool, and it does one job really, really well. It takes your long form videos and then it transforms them into short form clips. So a lot of times people record one little short form video and they could repost it on, you know, IG, TikTok or YouTube, whatever, but it's a very inefficient way of creating content. When you create one long form video, let's say you record a 20 minute video, right? Talking about how to help first time home buyers get their first home. But you can then take that video, upload it into video AI. And then from there, you can get easily five to 10 clips that in each of those clips, you can then repurpose to all the different social media platforms. So you get a lot more bang for your buck when you focus on long form content. And one of the hardest part is like, let's say you do make that 20 minute video. It's like, all right, which portion is going to perform the best? Like which part should I clip? Which part should I take out and turn into a short form video? Video AI, what they have is some AI algorithm that they search the whole video and then it'll determine which parts of the video are most likely to perform well on social media, most likely to go viral. And it'll give you a score based on how well they think that it may do. Now, instead of you having to go through your whole video and figuring out what's the best part, it has an AI tool to pretty much built in to go through, sift through the whole video and find the best portions. So that when you turn it into clips, you're not just taking random parts, you're taking the best parts of the video. Another thing that it does really well is that it auto generates caption and not your corny little weird caption that the YouTube, for example, auto populates. It has like the Hormozy style and all the trendy viral caption styles so that your video can look super professional. And all you have to do is maybe click a couple buttons and it automatically populates for you. And the best part is once you have a certain style that you like, you can turn it into like a template and then it'll save. So every time you create a clip, it'll already be edited in that style. So even if you have zero editing experience, you can start having these professionally edited looking videos without having to hire an editor. It literally goes as far as even putting the B-roll on the screen for you. So if you don't have an editor right now, no one will be able to tell the difference because your content, it'll have the jump cuts, it'll have the you know the, the captions, it'll have the B-roll, it'll have everything you need to make it look like a professionally edited video without having a professional editor on your payroll. And honestly, if I didn't currently have an editor, I will still be using them. And the third feature that I personally like about them as well, that's super convenient, is like when you have to post a video, you usually have to think about a caption and write it up. They have a built-in tool that auto writes your captions for you. And not only that, but it has hashtags in there usually, and it'll change the caption based on the platform. So let's say you wanted to write a caption for LinkedIn specifically and have that different than, be different than a caption on Instagram it'll generate two different captions for you. And let's say you wanted to post it on Facebook as well. And it'll generate a new caption for you for Facebook specifically. So the caption will be written in a way, you know, best suited for that particular platform, which is a super dope feature. I know tons of people that spend a bunch of time just trying to figure out, oh, what caption should I put? What should I write alongside for the caption? And this will pretty much use AI and it'll analyze the video and write a caption based off the content in the video so that you don't have to write it yourself. So those are the three tools to help you with your content creation. I promise you this is going to save you so much effort, so much time and energy from content creation. It's going to make the whole process so much more simple. And um, I'm actually affiliate for Riverside and for Video AI. So it comes at no additional cost to you, but it does help support the channel. So if you do want to check out either Riverside or Video AI, uh, please use the affiliate link down below in the description. And also, if you're interested in learning how to use ChatGPT for uh, creating a content calendar, I'm actually going to tag the video here. I'm going to create it now. If you're watching this, it's probably not out yet, but once it's out, I'm going to update the link so that you can click on here and just go directly to that video because then I'm going to teach you how to create a year long content calendar in under five minutes. And, it, and then from there, if you're interested in work, working with me one-on-one -on -one to help you leverage AI in your business to save you time, energy, and money, I know this AI stuff can be super tech savvy and super complicated, especially when you don't come from AI. Um, you just need the right person to teach you. So if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, make sure to click the link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.